Peace, and welcome to Oddly Familiar. I think we have a great mix today, some samples, some inspiration, some renditions, and a correction from a previous video. I am ICC, and here is Oddly Familiar Video Game Themes, Episode 44. In at number 10, we have the Hay Sample from Silent Dragon. And here is the Art of Noise, close to the edit. We had this sample in a previous Oddly Familiar episode, and we wrongly stated it was from a James Brown song. Nasty. Hey, listen to the man! We received a comment from Graham Norgate where he suggests and says, surely the hay sample is from Art of Noise. So immediately we went to listen, and yes, I stand corrected. This sample from Silent Dragon is not James Brown, but the Art of Noise. In an interesting side note, this hay sample was also in the song Firestarter by Prodigy. Instead of just leaving it out there, we felt the correction should be mentioned. And also we wanted to throw in Firestarter, just so you know another artist that sampled it. Thanks to everyone for the comments and correcting us so we can fix our mistake. Number nine, we have a double whammy from Sonic CD, Collision Chaos Present. This one, of course, comes from the same Art of Noise song, Close to the Edit. This certain theme comes from the Japanese and the European releases only. The American version received an all-new soundtrack. Sega believed it needed a more rich and complex sound. I personally like both of the soundtracks, but maybe I would give the edge to the original. First released in 1993, I do have to say this is one of the best Sonic the Hedgehog games. I would definitely say in the top three. Cuphead, Wally Warble's Boss Fight. And here is Flight of the Valkyries. In an obvious nod to Flight of the Valkyries, the Cuphead theme takes place during the bird boss fight. I do want to say I thought this game was a little bit underwhelming. I was hoping for a full-fledged platforming game, and I got a game that is 90% boss fights. I love the graphics and also the music, however the game feels incomplete. Now that I got that out of the way, the soundtrack is terrific and one of the best parts of the game. Composed by Christopher Madigan, the Cuphead soundtrack features nearly three hours of original music. A lengthy project, but a job very well done. Number 7. Gex, Enter the Gecko, in Dragnet. the theme to the TV show Cops, Bad Boys by the group Inner Circle. A game well known for parodies, 
there are probably 500 to 1,000 references to movies, TV shows, and random pop culture throughout the game. This is just one of many. This is the second Gex game, and it's a little bit similar to Mario 64 and how there is a stage select hub, and each stage has a few ways to beat it. It's drastically different than the first Gex game, which is a side-scrolling 2D platformer. The theme it parodies in this case comes from the TV show Cops. It debuted in 1989, while the Bad Boys song came out in 1987. The show was a big hit, a camera crew accompanied police on their shift, and sometimes you could see some pretty crazy stuff. In the game, you can see Gex run around with his little police uniform, completing the parody full circle. Number 6. Gauntlet 3 on the Amiga, the title screen music. And here is one of my father's favorites, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, Lucky Man. Since this was one of my father's favorites, I have heard this song quite a bit. Near the end of the song, there is a Moog synth solo, which I do want to add was recorded in one take by Keith Emerson. This is one of the first rock compositions in which a Moog was featured as a solo instrument. A Moog is a synthesizer developed by American engineer Robert Moog. It debuted in 1964, making it the first commercial synthesizer and is credited with creating the analog synthesizer as it's known today. The intro is a little bit similar on both of the tracks, and there are some parts of the Gauntlet theme that remind me of Jethro Tull, but what really makes me think of Lucky Man is that synth. Near the end of the Gauntlet theme, there is a solo, and at least to me, it screams Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. Number 5. Fatal Fury, King of Fighters, Kiss for Geese, the arranged version of the Geese Howard theme. And here is Digital Underground, the Humpty Dance. I'm drinking of all the Hennessy you got on your shelf, so just let me introduce myself. My name is Humpty, pronounced with the Humpty. So this one is pretty easily recognizable. I remember this song quite well. It was played quite often on MTV when it was released back in 1989. If you don't know the song, you might recognize Humpty Hump himself with his Groucho glasses. There were rumors that his nose was mangled and that's why he was covering it. But this is actually a character played by Gregory Jacobs, who is mainly known as Shock G. And as you can see, has a normal nose just like any average person in the world. This submission comes from Bear Sonum. He stated he came across a tune that was oddly familiar. I gotta say good catch and thanks for the oddly entry. Four, highlight on the Nintendo Entertainment System, the title and overworld theme. And here is, of course, Indiana Jones. One that is quite popular, I am sure many people heard this as soon as they played the game. If not then, they may have heard about this one from AVGN. 
Highlight was first released on the NEC PC6001 and PC8801 computers in Japan only. Two years later, it was ported to the Famicom in 1986, and three years later made it to the Western world on the NES. A 1995 remake was released for the Sega Saturn known as Virtual Highlight, but the soundtrack has been changed and you will not find the bootleg Indiana Jones theme. The highlight theme may not have the exact notes, but the feeling is there, and I would ask, can you really defend that and say it's not influenced by Indiana Jones? And on top of all that, if you ever beat the game, during the end credits you will hear another version of the theme that, for me, pretty much seals the deal. Number 3. Rayman 2 – The Great Escape Spider Attack And here is the music during the shower scene from Psycho. Our third spot comes from Rayman 2, a game that was released on a wide variety of platforms with several differences and name changes between them. You won't find this theme on the Nintendo 64, but I believe you can find it on all the disc versions of the game. Those strings are instantly recognizable. The theme from Psycho was written by Bernard Herrmann, an American composer born in 1911. He went on to work with Alfred Hitchcock numerous times. Most famously, of course, Psycho, North by Northwest, The Man Who Knew Too Much, and Vertigo. The Rayman theme starts out with those famous sounds, but branches off to its own little melody. Either way, it's still creepy, and if you are taking a shower and hear this theme start playing in the distance, you might want to get out of there. Number 2, DD Crew Bonus Stage. Now let's listen to Wild and Loose by the Time. What time is it? So in a previous Oddly episode, we had an entry from DD Crew, and while listening to that soundtrack, almost every theme in the game has at least one sample. This sample was an easy one to find, it's right at the beginning of the song Wild and Loose, so once you hit play, you hear it immediately. And if you don't know who they are, and if you have never heard of them, I can pretty much guarantee you heard of the person who created them, and that would be Prince. This song comes from their album titled What Time Is It? And that definitely assisted in me finding this sample so easily. Two Unlimited and Biometal. So we haven't seen Two Unlimited for a few episodes. I felt we needed some more. This group has been featured in our Oddly series more than any other. The energetic, upbeat style mixes well with action-packed video games. Just make a chiptune rendition and you have yourself a perfect background track. Coming from a few different users, this also seems to be a popular one. I went and checked as soon as I seen the comments, and on the cover, the first thing I seen was the 2 Unlimited logo. And it says, Super Techno Soundtrack, Cyber Battle Heat with a lethal techno beat from 2 Unlimited. So this one is not only on purpose, but advertised right on the front cover. You can hear Twilight Zone. You can hear 
get ready for this. You can also hear tribal dance. Now there could be more to Unlimited songs in Biometal, I am not that familiar with their catalog, so if anyone can find any others in the game, please let us know and we will use it in a future episode. So with episode 44 coming to a close, we are already working on the next episode, but please keep them oddly familiar entries coming. We stumble across some, but we always enjoy listening to more themes that maybe we missed or ones that we have never heard before. Last but not least, we want to give a huge shout out to all of our gold level patrons. Persona 11, Quantum X, Chris Hayes, and Blank Mark. You make it possible with all your help and we are closing in on our goal. I am ICC, thanks for watching, peace. <laughs>